Hey there and welcome back to Paint the Dynamics Hacker and we're finally getting into the, the stage of highlighting and lighting effects. So some of the highlightings have kind of been done really but it needs a lot of finishing off so first up I'm going to be doing all the white work where I'm going to be doing any additional white highlights you want to do, um, introducing white around the eyes, um, re-whiting the white of the cloth and running white into all the gaps around the hexagons on the thighs. So I want to do white around the eyes because I want the eyes to look luminescent because I'm going to mix some luminous paint and run it into all the gaps once I've done this. So let's find out if this alternative way of doing it and also the um, thing just underneath her chin which is like um, comlog basically um, that's also going to get white in the middle and white run through the, the lines at the edges because I want a glow, inner glow to be coming out of that too. So I'm going to get these bits and pieces done and I'll show you the process as it unfurls. Here we go then, all done with the whites. Um, run it over the coat, around the hexagons on her thighs. And uh, just around her eyes. So, next up, uh, sorry, all of her coat and everything as well, probably did mention it, getting very forgetful. Um, but next up, it's going to be, I'm going to mix up the fluorescent purple, and I'm probably going to do uh, one part pink, one part blue, see how it goes, maybe add more pink until... Probably going to end up two parts pink, two parts, one part blue is my guess. And I shall apply it to the areas and we shall see what we see, shall we? So I'll be back in a second when that is all done. Uh, it'll also go around the eyes, around the hexagons and around the comlog on a um, strap across her chest. Here we have that applied then, and um, did end up being two parts pink, one part blue. Now, only a single layer has been applied around the eyes, and try to clear it away from the center of the eye, so you have that pale area in the center of the eye. Also, just touched in a little white, uh, and mixed it with a sort of a, 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 a equal part, sort of a dab of pink, dab of white, dab of purple, dab of white. And just run it around the edges just to start blending it whilst it was wet give it that wet blend effect and then on the thighs uh, it's had a double coat of it because I first thought about preserving luminosity so just keeping it thin single coat and um, the fluorescent paints from Vallejo uh, they don't behave like normal paint they lay very thin they behave in some respects more like an ink and um, but they they kind of they cover like imagine uh, like paint with PVA glue, and that's how they kind of cover. So I ended up double layering them because rather than preserving luminosity, decided to um, go for color saturation and intensity instead. So, just going to take the pinky colour that I've mixed with one part white, one part purple, and I'm going to run it around uh, down through the central line again of um, all of these plates on the thighs just to try and make it feel luminous because right now it doesn't feel luminous, it just looks like purple really. Um, it certainly hasn't got the luminescence that you see in. Um, sorry, I keep hitting the one of my lights because of my rubbish light setup. Um, try and get that sense of it being glowing from the inside out. So we'll get that done, and I'll be back in a minute. Here we go then. I've um, added the mixture of a little bit white so we've got the pink running into all the lines and now that's starting to look get that kind of glowing effect that we're looking for also into the eyes um, around the edges faded down the cheeks a little bit um, just to 
bring a bit of colour into the face. Also into the centre of the com log on that's hanging off a strap on a chest. And the, down the other thigh there. And she's beginning to come together properly now, it seems. So finally then gonna get stuck into the flesh and I'm gonna use the same pale flesh that was originally used. I'm gonna touch it all back in again, um, firm it up, try not to work into the fade, but keep the peripheries of the fades and work it back over her hands. And finally putting her eyebrows on. So next time you see her, I'll have it all based up and ready for combat. Here we go then. All done and uh I think she's actually come up okay. So has the dam of his hacker been rescued or not? For you guys to decide, cool mini or not, also for you guys to decide. I think, I think, I think she's pretty cool. Um, in addition to uh, the final skin tones on the skin and the lilac eyebrows being put in, I also used the um, light skin tone to highlight all of the leather. And that's really been the final stage, as far as I'm concerned anyway. I think considering she was like a total abortion, she has come out very well. But, uh, there you go, there's a beautiful face. Uh, not putting pupils in on this one, quite like the um, Blade Runner-esque look. So, there we have it. And I hope that all of your paintings is going really well. Everything's coming out exactly how you want it to, or better than you ever expected. And if you're having abortions like me, you're rescuing them and they're coming out well. So I hope this has been some use interest to you and everything's going really well for you. Thank you for watching, take care and have a good one. Bye bye.